Hello, hi everyone. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. We're going to do a collective and timeless reading. So whenever this reading finds its way to you is the right time, but keep in mind it is a general reading. So see what resonates for you. Hopefully something comes through to help you see something with fresh eyes, give you a little clarity, maybe see something that was in between the lines, but in the end, always trust yourself. That divine inner guidance is inside of you and try to make balanced decisions between logic and intuition so that your decisions are sound and based in love and for the highest greatest good of everyone so we're all uplifted in love we're gonna start with a couple of messages from the tea leaf today let's see what comes through these are usually tiny messages something to be aware of let's see what God source Holy Spirit Christ to consciousness or higher selves, angels and energies of love have for the highest and the greatest good of all. The clarity for the collective energy going on right now. You need to know to be helpful. Please and thank you. The eagle. We have a couple. Hold on. The e oh, a couple. What do we got? The beetle, good fortune. Oh, that's nice. That's a little bit of a that's a little bit of a wheel of fortune energy. The scales, keeping your life in balance, readjusting your schedule, seeing where your time and your energy is best suited, and making adjustments accordingly like there's there's an apple and a flower in each of those scales the apple makes me think of the core because it's kind of shaped like a pentacle and like the seed of something so an opportunity and also the flower makes me think of something blossoming and then we have the eagle which is triumph over troubles and obstacles you're seeing the bigger picture you're flying above a situation and you oh hey look at you guys you also have the fan this one is nice this is romance a celebration and a party so maybe some of you are doing something today that's really fun um you get invited out something to celebrate going out on a date a little romance coming into the picture today I see these scales and I, I heard like all work and no play. And then you have this. So maybe some of you are working really hard. Maybe you're actually scheduling something in so you can play a little bit, have a little bit of fun. Anything else from this side, this half of the tea leaf that you need to know. Triumph. That feels very big. It doesn't feel like just like overcoming an obstacle. It feels like even bigger than a victory. I don't think there's anything else from this half. So let's go to the other side. Any more messages we need to know? The collective on beetle scales, eagle, and fan. I see the beetle and... I'm thinking of the song. I can't even think of the name of the song. That's like a cool intro. I can't think of the name of the song, but I can hear the intro. Goats, he got rolling people, he got that one. I still can't get the name of it. That's a really good song, though. I haven't heard that song in a long time. What's that? The parrot. Uh oh. Be aware of this. Someone is a gossip. So do pay attention to whom you tell your secrets to. Trust your discernment to know, you know, if somebody is, you know, the right person to tell. You'll know who you can trust. Um, if somebody's always coming to you and talking about everybody else, maybe that's not the person to tell, like, you know, to tell your secret to or your plan for something. 
It's like jibber jabber, you know, hearsay coming through. So we will look at it, but not give that gossip much attention. cards I gotta play fetch all right this is nice so we got some love coming out love is in the air feathers are in the air maybe you find feathers I like collecting feathers someone you know uh oh all right so we need to know about this person there's somebody around you that talks a lot they're also independable undependable and insincere i usually see the feather as a really nice sign but in this deck it's telling you that somebody is not telling you the complete truth they're not um like their intentions are not of a high vibration it could also be someone that's just kind of flaky you know maybe when you need them they're not there they don't show up or give an explanation Maybe their words don't match their actions, but it looks like here you do have somebody that's worth putting effort in. This is somebody who has a goal, a goal oriented person. So this is somebody who hits the target, somebody who probably makes plans and follows through. Maybe somebody who's like more of a thinker, but I feel like they're also a doer. Um, I hear follow through with this. So there's somewhere you need to be aware of where there's a lack of follow through and kind of just like take something with a grain of salt, maybe take yourself out of a certain situation, arena, relationship, you know, partnership or something like that because you have all this beautiful energy over here that totally overpowers that. You know, you're gonna find triumph in this situation Something's coming back into balance, but you do need to make an effort here. Uh, maybe it's setting yourself some specific goals. Maybe that's something in your career, or that could be anything. This could be like planning a vacation. This could be planning a project, planning to launch a business, um, planning an event, planning, uh, you know, sending out your resume. This is a goal you have in mind. It looks like it's going to bring you good fortune. And maybe even <laughs> love on the horizon. But I feel like, or, you know, even romance. So let's see. Let's get some clarity. That, that was a lot of messages. I know a lot come through with that deck. So let's go to a spirit message. Let's just get a spirit message for the day. Clarity on. Love, target, fan, scales, beetle, beetle eagle, feather, parrot. I just saw like the like Scrabble. Maybe some of you play Scrabble. That's kind of interesting. Maybe you're really good with words. One message for the collective, please. And thank you. I think it's a let go card. Let's see. Yeah, this is nice. This is actually, this is like a, a tweener time. It's saying, let, let go, let go of the old and make way for the new. You may find yourself being distracted by random thoughts, fears, doubts, but don't allow yourself to be governed by them. You are going to be overcoming obstacles here and getting something back into balance. You're going to have triumph. So don't allow yourself to be governed by them. Simply observe like this eagle. Sit back, see something for reality. Just observe these thoughts, let it go through you, and then take aligned actions and choices. Balance choices between your heart and your mind. And then action upon, you know, that right direction. 
those right goals. It's letting go of something. So you literally may need to actually clear your space, your actual physical space, your desk, your car, your drawers, anything like that. Maybe something new is coming into play. If it has to do with love, maybe your house should be cleaned up a little bit. If a date ends up, you know, coming back to your place later to hang out, have some tea. <laughs> Or it could also be just clearing your space because it clears your mental space. It makes, it makes you feel more organized in the mind. So you actually do see solutions and, you know, ways through obstacles. You start to see the broader picture of something instead of getting really wrapped up in one detail. So don't doubt yourself. Don't get in your own way. Don't self-sabotage. Say beautiful things to yourself. Think about possibilities and, you know, solutions being bigger than the, than, than the ceiling. I feel like you don't put a box on something. Bigger possibilities can come through than you may see right now. Let's continue. Let's go to something. Um, let's do the mermaid. This is the Oracle of Mermaids. Let's just see what comes through. Clarity on out with the old, in with the new. Having new goals. Maybe love is even self-love. Doing things that you love. Bring you joy and happiness. Something you're really into. Maybe a little romance coming into the picture. Some extra luck in a situation. What else do we need to know, please? Oh, you're being guided. A guide? All right, so this is nice. So there's this situation here that's not really de dependable. But wherever you're being guided, guided and directed towards whether that's a new relationship, a new ro road, new arena. It looks like it's taking you to a guide, a mentor, and somebody who is trustworthy and an ally. So this is somebody that's got your back. Somebody that's actually mirroring you beautifully, that recognizes how strong you are, how beautiful you are. You are supported here. This is somebody who gives advice because they really want you to be happy. They want you to succeed. They want you to reach your goals. I hear they want you to be in love. So this is somebody who gives like advice. Sometimes, you know, when you have somebody who's a, a true friend or a guide, sometimes it's a little tough love. You know, if you need to see the reality in a situation, but it's always sort of still helpful. It's always, it feels like you're lifted up. It feels like you're guided in the right dire direction, not forced down the wrong road. You know, it feels gentle. So this is really nice. At the bottom, you have the song of the siren. <laughs> I just think of the little mermaid. <laughs> like, like in the, her, her voice, like making actual like vibrations that you see and the prince hears her and he's like, what is that? That's not a bird. It's like magic. I'm like listening to magic. So maybe somebody has a beautiful voice, whether that's a singing voice or maybe just their voice in particular is kind of like alluring to you. But this could also be your throat chakra opening up. Look at what she's wearing. Oh my gosh. It's like she has this metal like filigree bra with, it looks like like chiffon. She's not wearing her seashells. This is, this is a sassy little siren. <laughs> it's the call summoning voice and to acknowledge. So this is like recognizing somebody and complimenting them, really seeing somebody, seeing value, hearing value, wanting to, I just keep hearing value with this. So maybe something is really valuable that could be a relationship, but that maybe song, maybe some of you actually write or you hear something in a song. 
the call. Maybe some of you are receiving a call or need to make a call. Summoning. There's a <clears throat> there's a song by Spoon. I think it's like summoning you, my love. I can kind of hear it. Voice. Maybe it's about the voice. So maybe if this is a connection that you have, it's not, um, I don't think it's like a text, maybe a video call, maybe an actual face-to-face -face conversation. I would feel like you would want to be in the presence of that siren and feel her energy, but I think it's more about at least hearing the inflections of somebody's voice, maybe the space in between uh, the sentences, maybe the humor. Um... This girl looks a little like Kate Hudson to me. I don't know why. All right, let's go to, let's do a couple of tarot cards. I feel like we're going to bounce around to different things today and just kind of see what messages come through. But let's do a little bit of a tapestry of tarot and see. I got a little more depth to what comes through so far. What else do we need to know on the energy going on? Also with guide, it makes me think of like a little bit of a teacher, but I don't think it necessarily has to be a teacher, but it could be more like when you're ready to hear this information or get this advice, you're gonna hear it from the right person. You could also be the one guiding somebody. Somebody knows that you are trustworthy, that you always got their back. Like you got them. Okay. What else do we need to know to be helpful, please? And thank you. Wow. This is a big opportunity. This is really beautiful card. This is the Ace of Pentacles. You got the golden ticket. I mean, you do have, you do have this huge good fortune. But this is an opportunity in your everyday 3D world that can bring prosperity and abundance. So that doesn't have to be a job or, you know, something monetary. It can be about love because that's something that you feel and you put energy into in your everyday environment. But whatever this is for you, when this opportunity is given to you by the divine, this is the one you want to take. This is that really big valuable seed but it's an ace so this is now up to you to take this idea to take this job to take this situation and you need to plant your garden you know if you just take that seed or that idea or that thing that opportunity and just kind of place it away for later nothing's going to grow until you plant it you have to put actual physical energy into something for this to grow but it has the potential to grow not just one little plant. This is the kind of thing that can grow a forest or a garden or a huge tree. It's being offered to you at night. Maybe it has something to do with, I mean, is this the night? Maybe this is the night. Oh, well, it's a guardian night. <laughs> Tarot, so hey. But it's an owl. So maybe it's, I actually heard silent partner. That's kind of interesting. So that could be business for some of you. Or maybe even keeping silent on this opportunity until something is ready to fly. Um, because when the when the owls fly, you, you can't I don't think you can even hear them, but you can hear them whoo. Whoo. It's this I don't even know what kind of flower this is. It's really pretty though. And it looks like it's this flower that's growing is so massive that it is also, it's like it's, it's growing as tall as the clouds. So something here has potential to not only have really high skyrocket kind of growth and potential, but it has the ability to unfold to have many layers um you have to listen to your higher self with this one 
because this it's like divine guidance where it's coming from it's almost like sunshine but i feel like this is almost like a halo that's a really nice place to start um let's get another card let's see clarity on the ace of pentacles please what do we need to know about this opportunity this chance this seed ready to be planted it could also be you offering an opportunity to someone else. That was a lot of cards. All right, let's see what we got. One, two, wow, three, four, five, six. All right, let's go. Wow. All right, so yeah, you have, let's see, we have the sun, wow, the ten of pentacles, the five of swords, the two of swords, the ace of swords, and the hermit. Okay, so first and foremost, the sun is at the top. So you are going to receive so much clarity in a situation. There's something coming through that feels like sunshine. It feels golden. It feels like it's something you shouldn't miss. You don't want to miss. Um, this is when you really feel like yourself. You're on the right path. The road ahead is bright and bubbly. Look at this cat. It's like a panther. Or a lion kind of chilling on the tree. And there is sun here. Feeling really powerful, but yet gentle. Feeling a healthy sense of pride. You're proud of something. You have that other, you have that other ace here. So that's two aces. So there is something definitely new that is starting it starts with mental clarity taking away the clutter speaking clearly having this beautiful idea it's not just an idea it's something that you need to think about plan about but you need to ask more questions you need to make a plan you need to actually start to process this idea and see it before you on how it can manifest with this ace of pentacles but i feel like it starts with a conversation maybe within yourself or maybe with this guide or person that you really trust this conversation brings so much clarity and you have the wreath of victory here And you have good fortune here. Ace. I can't think of what kind of flower that is. And then you have bats in the sky. That makes me think of the song of the siren, like echolocation, hearing something that you didn't hear before. I also know this is really weird, but when I see bats, I think about them eating funny little bugs that are annoying. <laughs> So maybe there's a nice, you know, ecosystem in your world, balancing of the scales and getting rid of certain things in your life that felt like little, like, like kind of annoyance energy, whatever that is, there's something coming through to actually help you with something, clear something away. I feel like this is usually the big light bulb. The divine light bulb that goes off in your soul and in your mind. What you need to say, the right words, the right questions, the right clarity, sometimes from somebody else. But once you get this clarity and you get this offer, it's doing something about it. it you, you have all that silence. So it is possible that while you're contemplating this stuff or planning whatever this is, this hermit energy could be a very, very good, um, like, form of advice for you. It's going to your little cave, um, having a space where you can contemplate, reevaluate, process, you know, whatever is going on here, how you're going to plan your garden. And this is a beautiful energy. It's usually Virgo. So in this alone space of meditative time, you actually will become very clear on how to 
maneuver your energy once you come out of that cave. So don't stay in the cave for evs. Stay in just long enough so you can get that inner guidance system turned on and that brilliant light inside of you to start to see the writing on the wall, you know, to see the right way through and or out and around a situation. So when you get back out there, your energy is changed. You have this new newfound wisdom about you. And sometimes this hermit is actually the one that guides others. This is the person that has so much wisdom and been through so much, knows how to like um, protect and turn off from outside, you know, influences for just long enough to gain this clarity. So when he or she gets back out there, they actually are able to usually usually by example, but sometimes by actually teaching how to help someone turn their own light on. Because if it's like that firefly energy, that illuminated energy, people are kind of attracted to that, but it can't be an attachment thing. And you can't be the reason that somebody sees something clearly. People have to eventually learn to turn on their own light, you know, and be a guide to themselves. Um, so this is the individual that's really good at helping somebody do that. But there's also a spider in a web here. So not getting stuck in that cave. If it's too much alone time, you do actually need to get back out there. Get back out into civilization and commune with others. Even if you're just getting back out there and doing things that you love, setting yourself some new goals. It's getting back out there sometimes that changes your energy around. So even if you're doing like a home project or something by yourself, when you go back, your energy is different and you become clear. You don't get, I, I feel like this cobweb thing is like when you're kind of like blocked, creatively blocked, blocked. And it's like you're kind of getting so stuck in your head of trying to figure something out that you're creating this tangled web of scenarios because you're not actually out there experiencing the real scenarios it's like making the what ifs up too much but for some of you this might have to do with something you actually do on the internet as well and then what do we have here the two of swords the five of swords and the ten of pentacles you have a lot you have a lot coming. Wow. So you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten. So it looks like you're ready to put something into actually creating something that brings wealth and prosperity and good fortune. But this doesn't necessarily, this Ten of Pentacles, mean that it's just 3D wealth. When I see these bees working together... The thing that they're working for, you know, they work for the queen here, the queen bee. They get all the honey, but they all use that honey to eat over the winter. And because of the miracle of this, you know, of nature and this beautiful earth, these bees keep our entire ecosystem alive. So... The work provided here is not just valuable to the queen. It's not just valuable to the hive. It's valuable to every single animal and human and plant and animal on this earth. So there's something that's coming through that has a like the true meaning of wealth. Where there's abundance for all. Each of, these, each of these bees has its own pentacle. Each of these bees has its own particular target and beautiful goal and beautiful chance to be in their own ten of pentacles. So maybe you actually work in a company or this is really good advice somehow where you're not only figuring out how to plant the garden, you're actually getting in the position where maybe in the future you're going to be the person that teaches others to plant this garden of wealth, inspiration, abundance, but I feel like it's more spiritual and special than just financial advice. I feel like this is different. 
and with the two of swords and the five of swords the five of swords what is here what's in the background here it's like a deer gent it's like a little deer it's like a young buck it's got little antlers but still kind of got its spots and there's all of these trees that they left the stumps on these swords are just stuck in the tree and you can see behind there's like a city but it doesn't even look like there's anything alive in that city there's no light on it's like an abandoned city and that nature is still here and yet this deer doesn't really have these abundance of trees. It looks like it's eating some grass, but there's something missing. With the Five of Swords, it's being aware that there's probably a situation around you where there's definitely a sore loser. There's somebody who doesn't want to see, you know, someone is like, that's the person that's not happy for everyone else to succeed. That's the person that uses mind games, talks down others. They're a sore loser and a bad winner. They want it all and they don't care how they get it. It's like, a, you know, it's like, it's like when somebody plays mind games and they want to win for real selfish purposes. It's not, it's without integrity. You know, it's like, like even in this card, like, you know, they wanted these big buildings destroying this forest, not making like a nice, maybe like instead of tearing down these trees here, why didn't they make it a park and allow some nature to have space? You know, you have these high rises. It doesn't even look like anybody's in it. There is a way to find a balance in a situation so everything can thrive. Not that you have to take away from something else for something else to be gained. Upside down, it could be somebody around you that could be a mentor that actually asks you really sharp, harsh quest questions to see something in reality to keep you at the top of your game, to keep you sharp and clear so that you're not um, take, out here taken for a fool. So it's different ways here but how can this situation turn around so you either need to take your so you can take yourself out of a situation that was just not beneficial at all and not supportive at all and just kind of made it made you like foggy in the mind if that was a certain person a relationship a position or environment you know, and it felt like you were always the one that was trying to thrive here and not really being appreciated somewhere else. Seeing that situation and or taking yourself out of that situation or just being aware of that situation or totally changing it up so there can be a balance, being the one that makes the difference being the one that suggests maybe, hey, we don't, we don't tear down everything next time. Maybe we make a park or we leave this as a natural nature preserve. Like there's always a way to change it and to think about something differently. I'm not even sure what I said with that. These are really different cards. So I'm kind of getting different messages. But it all starts with maybe going into that cave. Not just turning on the light, but really, really seeing the truth, really seeing something clearly and getting out of this teeter-tottering on a decision kind of energy. You have the Ace of Swords, so you do have that brilliant idea about what to do, which is the way to go. You know, the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, right, left, black, white, up, down, where to go. Eventually you have to go somewhere. You have to take a step in some direction, make a decision. Usually it's to have a conversation or communication or be clear with something, but to choose to not do that is also a choice. So it's each situation is a little bit different. What's at the bottom? And another two. So you definitely have progression. 
you definitely, I mean, look, that's, that's two in a row. You have the Ace of Swords and you have the Two of Swords. Where is that? And then you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So you've definitely made a choice or are working on putting energy past the plans to actually plant this garden. Wow, this Two of Pentacles actually has dolphins. So it might be an emotional situation. There's two dolphins here working together, almost like I don't know, working in harmony, creating protection, creating a solid circle. I'm even getting like a vortex energy, but it looks like they're actually jumping out of the water, breaching out, diving back into something. So maybe balance of time and attention. If this is a partnership with you and someone else where it feels really equal, but I feel like you do have your pod here. You do have help somewhere. or it's coming in soon, but you have to dive into something. Even though this is pentacles, you have to dive into something here emotional. You have to balance your, your, your heart and your head somehow. It's rebalancing your schedule too. You did have something with the scales, right? Keep your life in balance. So what do you need to adjust in your schedule that can make you feel like your batteries are always... You know, like you can always plug yourself back in. Do you need a little more rest? Do you need to work a little harder? Do you need a little more fun? Do you need to plan a little bit more? Are you procrastinating? Are you running on empty? It's asking yourself all of these questions because maybe that's what you're thinking back and forth about. Because here, this is where you're actually putting your energy. Usually it's like a gesture. And he's there juggling the things. So figuring out how much weight to put on each thing that you're juggling. But there's always that little, you know, advice that comes through that you have to have fun. If you're not having fun with any of this stuff or this idea or it doesn't bring you any kind of joy or love, then all you're doing is this Ten of Pentacles in the 3D land and just working to have more stuff. And it feels as empty as this abandoned city because the value of it is plastic so you have to put the value into something where your heart is really in it where you're you have this joy and this happiness behind what you're doing the dolphins make me think of laughter <laughs> i feel like they're just fun <laughs> i really like dolphins but they also Play, communicate, help each other, work together. I feel like when a dolphin, I mean, I don't really know how a dolphin actually thinks, but I feel like with their like, da, 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 like echo thing, I feel like they can put sound out there and it can bounce around a, you know, bounce around a coral reef, bounce around the fish, bounce around the shipwreck. And they kind of get those sound vibrations that co come back. And I feel like whatever plan this is that you can make, you don't just see it on a 2D format. You get to see almost like it's 5D. It's in a whole globe and it's moving. You do have a globe there and it is golden. So you can see not just something like that eagle, you know, like you're looking down at a map. It's like you can see how everything on that map is actually moving. Um, let's go to a different, well, let's see. I'm not sure what to do now. We'll go to a different tarot deck. Let's pull one card and see if that brings any, like, balance to this. Unless I don't know really what one I have. I have the spiral. It was a lot of tarot cards to jump out at once. A lot of cards out today. I mean, it's, I feel like it's sort of business, but it's, it's, it also feels like it's kind of love too. You have all these love cards, but I feel like even if it's business, it's involving love. Ultimately, when you have the sun jump out, 
that just puts the most beautiful vibrancy and light on any other card or messages that come through a reading. It's like the ultimate life energy. It's brilliance. It's, it's just, it's pure brilliance. Maybe you have a brilliant mind or there's something that comes through and it just feels like, I mean, when you see the sun, there's other stars in the sky and they're gorgeous, but the sun is so special. You feel it, you can't miss it. It's that continual thing that always comes back around, creates life. It's also a masculine yang energy. Let's just get one card from this deck. Try to sum up, look at these here, see how they look. The two and the ace of pentacles, five of swords, ace of swords, the two of swords, the hermit. One card, please. And we have the High Priestess. Nice. This is really, I mean, you have this here. You have this guide. And you have the Hermit. And now you have the High Priestess. So this could be really deep, amazing spiritual advice. This is also another message of silence. To know when to speak and whom to speak to. The timing of when to speak. Wow. Oh, this is a really beautiful, um, very complicated card. There's like a spiritual fire in this cauldron. I feel like it's an everlasting fire she's there next to this pack of wolves she's sitting on this throne it almost as like has a statue of a woman it looks like the universe is both behind her and in part of her dress like they're merged into one And she has this gigantic eye on her third eye and a gem on her throat. So it is knowing when to speak and yet being open in your throat chakra, speaking with authentic truth, living these spiritual lessons through truth and integrity. It's having gifts from above and then using them to heal and to help. I keep hearing sharing your gifts. So maybe some of you are gifted. Maybe a talent you have, ideas or knowledge you have. Um, maybe you're spiritually gifted and it's about using your gifts to help others. You're really tapping into your third eye, but she's so mysterious and hard to explain. You know, she doesn't, she doesn't give her lessons in a direct manner. You learn these kind of lessons when you're meant to. Um, you know, they're not in chronological order. Sometimes they're very confusing. Sometimes it's a knowing. But she's really, really being intuitive and really, really trusting your discernment and really tapping into your higher self. This is really tapping into your spirituality. She's not about the ten, ten of Pentacles kind of energy, you know? I don't even like to address the High Priestess upside down. Because I feel like if you have these kind of spiritual gifts, they should always be used appropriately or else you're not tapping into the right kind of energy anyway. Therefore, the knowledge that's being received is not of high vibration. So now I got her. I was only going to pull one card, but 
Let's clarify this, High Priestess, please. It's another two. You have a lot of twos, a lot of deciding. I feel like you or someone else is just really, really starting to be in touch and in tune with your higher self, with your higher purpose, with your true destiny, and taking that beautiful vibration down from the heavens into earth and seeing how to ground it and manifest this spiritual energy into reality and to merge them into one. Because then the things that you start to build in this garden and manifest bring so much so much prosperity in your life but it's a different kind of wealth it's the wealth that twinkles it's the wealth that's you know it's you really being guided by the divine of an abundance you're supposed to have All right with clarity on the high priestess please what do we need to know about her getting out of a stuck situation not blocking your divine gifts. Definitely getting out of your head. This is somebody who is a little bit, you know, you're a little bit wrapped up in something a little too tightly. It almost does look like a cocoon kind of situation. Maybe staying in that cave or that cocoon a little bit too long. But this person is usually just so trapped up in their mindset that they are stuck in something. To not see the solutions, to know that they aren't really stuck. That's not a real cage around them. They can just hobble on out sideways or call out and ask for help. Or use one of those swords as a tool and get yourself out of that rope so it's not such a struggle in the first place. It's just you have to get out of that mentality and belief that you or someone else is actually trapped or just choose to stay there and be very uncomfortable. But usually this comes through when you're starting to see things differently. This person in particular is blindfolded, so you need to use your other higher senses. When you can't see and one of your senses is taken away, it usually helps you get stronger on the other senses. You need to listen, hear, feel. You know, it could be like a big knowing. I actually keep hearing taste. I don't know why. I mean, I guess if she doesn't know that she's at the beach, she would taste the salt in her air in, in the hair. Maybe taste is important for some of you. Do something with food. I keep hearing salt. Maybe there's a salty situation too. All right. We have a lot of cards today. I didn't expect to go into the tarot so much, but hey, if these messages needed to come through, let's do it. Let's get clarity now on the Eight of Swords. Oh, well, instructions. Maybe you need instructions. I didn't even know that was in there. So maybe it's about writing something down or you actually need to read something. Something in the words. It's at the bottom. Judgment. Nice. That's big. That's really, um, where's that thing? Letting go of the old and making way for the new. That's the big boy. That's the big call of the trumpet from the divine. Telling you something has to change. It's having huge self-reflection on everything you've done, everything you're going through, what you want to do, and how you're going to change it because a change needs to come with this. This is knowing you have to do something. This is when something usually starts to feel so uncomfortable that you adjust and you grow those spiritual wings now to actually elevate and fly out into something, into a new situation, because you're flying out of judgment into that ending of the world 
where you feel like whew, that relief to take a bow like yes if this is the kind of ending that feels good because you know that next chapter with the fool is that beautiful new self-discovery it's discovering new it's maybe being a little bit uncomfortable because now you got wings but you're going to get comfortable fast because this new situation coming through is definitely not going to feel like that and it doesn't mean that you're not going to have more of this kind of energy around you but when you elevate to a different vibration it probably means a lot of this kind of combative Mind game stuff isn't going to affect you. It can't even touch you anymore. You can just fly over a situation. But you have to have such self-awareness when the judgment card comes through. It's releasing judgment on others. Everybody's human. Everybody messes up. Everybody gets these spiritual elevation lessons when they're ready. People can get opportunities. You know, with this, these ace opportunities for this gigantic growth and abundance and prosperity and victory and clarity and communication but not everybody takes action on it or makes an effort into it this is really telling you to balance out your scales now if there's something you didn't like about the past how would you do it different if there's something you wish you would have said can you make amends can you have that conversation is there something you completely need to leave behind? Are there new goals coming through with this that feel like they're lifting you higher? I feel like this comes through when you have beautiful help from God, from source, from spirit. To finally make a change I'm just getting a big change and you're welcoming it with open arms and all these people are completely naked so it's real self-reflective self-reflection and being really who you want to be living your authentic truth of your heart and vibrating like the Sun this angel does look like it's sunshine. Okay, wow. So, let's keep going. Why not? Let's see what else. Um, let's do an angel number. I have that place and that character, and I was going to kind of use that, but I feel like a lot of other messages kind of came through today, so maybe that's another reading. So let's do an angel number. And then maybe end with a winged enchantment or a power. Let's see what comes through here. More message, please, and thank you. Oh, 7777. Seven, seven, seven. Perseverance. This is change in perspective, reflection, inner strength, wisdom, and enlightenment. High Priestess and the Hermit and then this beautiful judgment call this is making good judgment calls on yourself bringing that power back to you and where your power needs to be and where it doesn't belong really stepping into your wisdom there's a need for a change of perspective on whatever has taken over you now if you want to succeed, have this triumph over obstacles. Even if this has to do with romance. Where is it? Where is it? So many cards here. Or your fortune. Or I know love is in here somewhere. Or love. You need to keep going down the road you're on. Reach for the wisdom within, and then you'll know what the next, the right next step is. So don't get stuck in that cave. Don't get stuck in your head. Don't get stuck in ego. Yeah, ego. You know, it's like there's a lot of stuck energy here, and it has to take you getting past that teetery, teeter, 
totter, trying to make a decision, you know, making so many plans, being in your head, getting stuck in the web, taking too much alone time kind of energy and taking that spiritual wisdom that you are finding and just take one step at a time. You're going to recognize if that st step is not like in, in the, you know, if you step in a puddle, you're going to know. If you take a step and you run into a tree in the woods, you're going to know to go a different way or go around something. You will figure something out. But if you are doing something and you're following this wisdom within you and you have this divine guidance here that you're really tapping into, the things you notice and the things you see on this path are going to probably be different than what you would have ever noticed before. Therefore, this path is going to probably take you down a new direction. But it's just don't get too far ahead of yourself. Be in the now on the road that you're actually on when you're there. Because you only ever have the now. It's got one winged enchantment to sum this reading up for you guys. Card keys and perseverance. Getting your life into balance. Heading towards that Ten of Pentacles. And victory. Good fortune. Romance, celebration, having something to celebrate. I have no idea why I saw romance and I just thought of that movie romancing the stone that's so old when I was little I loved that I loved that um I loved that movie isn't she like a didn't she write like romance novels maybe you are a writer maybe you write romance novels or something like that or you, you're in a situation that you really didn't expect any romance at all. Or maybe that's heading, hey, maybe that's down that jungle or that down that path for you somehow. I feel like, like I'm thinking about that movie and I feel like that adventure and kind of came out of nowhere. Nice, we got the hummingbird. What a powerful thing to end on. The hummingbirds means you're not just having perseverance with something. You are definitely able to run circles 182,000 times around anybody else and still look like you're not moving. You know, the hummingbird is also really do, they have balance. The hummingbird at night almost completely stops. Its heart like almost completely like gets so slow. You don't really even like, you don't see it moving at all. And then as soon as, interesting, this sun comes out, hummingbird just like snaps back into aliveness and they're, they're on. And I think of how they can fly. They can like stay in place. They can go all around different ways. They make that cute little sound and they also drink that nectar. So it is awareness of the things in your life that you can drink that feel like they're nourishing your heart. Like they're, they're, you're fueling your body and treating your body like an actual temple. Um, there's so much vibrancy here. So I feel like they kind of, they kind of, they're like reflective. They're kind of like iridescent little birds. They're really cool. The 17 is also like the star. Sometimes these cards are kind of like dark and drab. This one is not. It's like this world you're entering in is spiritual technicolor. And the 17 is hope. Guidance. You keep having that guidance coming through. It's here. It's inside of you. I hear pray. So maybe some of you, it's just starting with a prayer, asking for help. If you feel like you don't know which, where to, which way to go, allowing, allowing that guidance to come in. Let's see, what is this? Where's the book? I really like this card. Let's see, 17, the hummingbird. I am hummingbird, I am the creator shaman. 
I am the burst of light out of the darkness, whirling and weaving through the pattern of time. I create the nectars of life. I am the fragility of time. It's like that thing with the big making a big decision. You know, if you feel like you're somewhere where you're stuck or you're not pursuing something where you feel like you're in the sunlight of your ultimate self, if you really, you know, want to have romance in this vibrancy of love, you need to bring that into you first and make decisions that help guide you towards things that you love and live in that vibration. And that's when it starts to manifest back into your life. I am, I am the fragility of time and the strength of passion. You know, you had something that said like passion somewhere here. Romance. Oh, continue with so many cards. I advise you to keep your garden in order. Hey, we had all that stuff about a garden. So once you start to plant that garden, don't let the weeds get overwhelming. Make sure you maintain your garden. Make sure you attend it. I am the fleeting brilliance of the moment. I am the here and the now. When the world has ceased to make sense, I will be the one fluttering at your window. <laughs> Hover precisely where you are and take a good look around. Take it all in before your next great adventure. I am luminosity. I am the magic that happens with that first breath. The morning, that, that's, they are, they're amazing. They, 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 like, it's soon in the morning. They're ready to go. They're up. So they, it's that balance. Allow yourself that break when you need it. But then when that opportunity is there, when you know you need to take action on something, when you know you need to step out of your comfort zone or start to walk to where the world feels like it's this vibrant, it's, it's doing it. I am the magic that happens at first breath. I am the life that stirs at dawn. I am the opening of the flower in the spring. And I did have that big, where's that big thing? That big open flower. That one. There is a miracle in every particle of life. You are spontaneous action. You are diversity made manifest. You are the joy of movement. You are hummingbird. So it looks like maybe there was some silence, a re you know, rebalancing of something, really looking at back certain situations that need to be addressed and or change, looking where there's true sincerity and the truth of your heart, where you're being guided to go, follow the love, follow joy, follow passion. release judgment and start to make good judgments for yourself. And take a step today, one step at a time, but it's gonna put your whole life back into balance. Back into balance, back into balance. And it looks like this garden is going to grow into abundance of wealth and value and prosperity and like manifestation of something you're really proud of in your life. And with that, I bid you adieu. I hope this reading was helpful and I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.